Back on the subject of fees, we, we've got a fees table which shows the fees that have been paid by particular members. So the member ID of 4131, that refers back to each one of these members here, 1, 2, 3, 4, these are that's the people. So um, this is all good, it's all set up nicely and if we have a quick look at the relationship we can see that we've got one member can be paying many lots of fees obviously the back end of this is working what we don't really have is a good way for the user to interact with this we can't re we don't really want the user to have to try and remember the member id that's just not going to work uh, on this members table we don't have that information about fees we can add the fees field it's not going to look brilliant and on this i've made a form directly from that fees table um, and you can use this drop down to pick the person and so on but it's not a great way because you can only show one fee at a time on here so uh, what we're going to do is going to use a sub form on this form here to display um, what we what we want so let's quickly go into design view and uh, just make ourselves a little bit of space for a sub form down here drag those buttons out of the way and the thing that we want is right here it says subform sub report select that drag a nice big sub box down the bottom i'm going to use an existing table and query which is going to be that uh, table of fees tbl fees all the fields is good and uh, this is the relationship now if you've set it up properly in the first place it's going to actually guess it right first time i can't tell the difference between these two they look identical i'm just going to go with the top one um, and i need to name it properly of course it is a form not a table so form fees subform is not a bad name for it at least i know what that's going to be so let's have a quick look in data sheet in uh, form view um, that's not too bad. So Fiona McGillagall is, um, we can see she's paid two lots of fees at this time. And if we click to the next person, uh, Renard Romero has paid that. And if we say, oh, Anton, he's paid another lot of fees since then. So I can hop into here, do $20 and pick a date using my date, pick, which is hidden off the side there. And I can just tweak the other date to make sure it looks all good. Uh, it's not perfect but yeah it seems to be it's displaying all the fees for that particular person which is definitely something that we would want to do so we need a bit of tweaking let's go and do that uh, so i'm just going to close this and save it and the tweaking that i want to do is actually going to be in the sub form so when i open the sub form up in the form view it looks like a table it's actually a form bizarrely uh, the issues that I had were firstly that I didn't really need to see the ID for every single one. That's not useful information. That's kind of back end stuff. Also, we know the member ID on this particular place because it's part of the sub form. So we don't need to display that. Uh, that the data is still part of the form, but we're just not displaying it in, in the first place. Uh, so if I just save that, we'll see that that hopefully looks about right. Form members there we go so we got the members and we got the fees paid and the date paid which is all the information we really need to display here what i do find horribly confusing is down here i've got this set of navigation buttons and also down here i've got another set of navigation buttons these are the navigation buttons for uh, this sub form and these are navigation buttons to replicate what i did here uh, i'm going to get rid of these so going into the sub form design view and uh, it's kind of you have to select the right thing I brought up the property sheet so you can just click on anything and go properties uh, oops yeah properties and then I'll kind of click over here as in, in the blank area and that selects the entire form and then one of the things deep in here is navigation buttons let's go with no on that and uh, let's save that and just close it and, and check that we've got what we want we should have that's much nicer, much better. I'll loop. 